What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Getting into this episode of Days of Our Lives. Um, I enjoyed this episode. It was it was the whole Lonnie Eli scene was super hilarious. Um, because they're back from Miami, because you know I'm beyond Salem. They you know they're in Miami right now dealing with some Jews and a caper and all type of crazy adventures. Um, so they're back. And, you know, today was Lonnie's first day back at work. And, you know, she was missing the twins and stuff. Um, It was super funny because Eli grabbed some snacks. And he was like, we're going to go on a stakeout in the nursery. And, of course, they were staking out their prime suspects, the twins, Carver and Jules. Um, That was freaking hilarious. That whole scene was fun. It was good to watch. I love like seeing Lonnie and um, Eli together when they're happy and stuff. And the chemistry between them is just insane. And I love seeing it. And that was such a dope idea Eli had. He was like, let me just grab some snacks and we're going to do a little steak out up in here. I love that. Like, you got, listen, married couples got to do little fun stuff like that. Even in real life, like, you got to do little cute fun stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just keeps the marriage interesting. <laughs> like, it really does. Um, so, anyway, Paulina was with um, Abe and stuff. You know, they sipping on wine. And she had an idea of inviting, you know, Lonnie and Eli over for dinner. And Abe was like, um, we were just in Miami with them. We just had a whole adventure with them. Like, you want to invite them over now so soon? I agree with Abe on that because clearly Abe wanted to spend some one-on-one time, you know, with... Um, Paulina he wants to spend you know some quality time and stuff but you know anytime he get to see his daughter son-in-law and grandkids you know he happy um so of course you know Lonnie was cool with it she was like all right we on our way we coming so they showed up with some dessert and and stuff like that and you know they're all talking but then you know she got a phone call they both got called in to deal with this whole Bonnie situation and, you know, Paulina was worried about Lonnie being a cop because it, it's a dangerous job. And, of course, she was speaking not as an aunt, but as a mother. Um, but I do agree with Lonnie and Eli, though. I mean, Lonnie is definitely good at her job when she want to be. When she want to be, you know what I mean? She could be badass at her job, but we all know she she's a stickler sometimes for breaking the rules when it suits her purpose. But, you know, she is definitely a badass cop, though. She, you know, she's good with a gun. She know how to handle herself. So that's what I definitely like about um, Lonnie. So when they left or whatever, Abe went to the kitchen real quick. And Paulina was whispering to the twins that she's the, really their grandmother. And when Abe walked in, he had that look on his face like, what the fuck? You know, he had that, you know, crazy look on his face. And I was like, Abe, how much of that conversation did you hear, sir? <laughs> like, did he hear the grandmother part? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Honestly, Paulina just need to go tell them that she's the mother. <laughs> I understand she don't want to hurt, you know, Lonnie. She definitely don't want to hurt Abe. You know what I mean? Because she knows revealing this right now is going to hurt some people. But you got to do what you got to do. You can't keep this secret forever. You know what I mean? Like, it's bound to come out. Um, so, anyway, and I kind of do like her and Abe together, though. But she need to stop them lies. So, anyway, moving on from that. I don't blame Sean for being pissed off that Belle is, you know, she got to go clean up Philip and, and Chloe's mess. You know what I mean? Because here go Chloe calling Belle with her little sob story about the Philip Brady saga. And I'm like, if I was Sean, I would be like, nah, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but yeah, we we enjoying our dinner right now. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would be pissed. Because it's like him and his wife can't even have a moment alone to themselves because she got to deal with some drama. So, of course, she leaves. Um, And when she came back, Sean didn't want to hear nothing about Philip. <laughs> he didn't want to hear none of the drama, nothing. He did not care. He was like, listen... I got us two plane tickets. We about to fly out, go visit our daughter, and go have some a good time. I agree with that. I like that. You know, and Belle was happy about it. I said, good, because y'all get to get away from Salem for a little while, visit your daughter, see how she's doing out there, and go have some fun. You know what I mean? Like, get away from the drama for a few days, you know? Because when Belle went to go see Philip or whatever, this fool sitting here at the computer about to write some angry email to Brady. I'm like, why are you emailing him? You have his phone number. Why not just do, 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 
call him up, text him. Better yet, how about you don't speak to him at all about Chloe? That would be the smart way to go. I mean, I'm just saying. Brady, Chloe, and Philip have all been so immature in this situation. Like, you would have thought that they were teenagers again rather than the fully grown people that they are. I'm like, are you serious? And, you know, Bell had to check Philip about his attitude, like his little anger issues and stuff. And I agree, you know, but this fool ended up sending the email to Brady anyway. But the email apparently didn't send because that damn spyware that Gabby got on his computer done froze the computer. So he sent it to IT or whatever. And, you know, I agree with Bell. I agree with Bell. Philip needs to let this anger that he has with Brady go. You are with Chloe. Why don't you just enjoy being with Chloe? Stop all the insecurities. And in my opinion, Chloe didn't make it no better. She really didn't. Like, nobody told Chloe to let Brady sleep in her bed. Like, even for her, if it was platonic. Like, you let a guy that you know wants you, who's in love with you, so he says, sleep in your bed. Let him sleep on the couch. He was perfectly fine sleeping on the couch. But she kept insisting, no, you've been through a lot, sleep in my bed. No, see, that's what I'm talking about. Chloe been fueling this. She's been fueling this fire as well. But Philip needs to stop acting on his anger because I agree with Bell. It's going to be his downfall. It's going to get him into too much trouble because he's too short tempered and always ready to react. It's like stop reacting all the time because you're giving Brady what he wants and you're definitely giving Gabby what she wants because now Gabby's trying to use this to her advantage because she sees the email that um philip was trying to send to brady and she wants to use it to her advantage her and jake you know what i mean to push him off the rails like get him so mad or whatever that he lashes out at brady but you know jake was worried about somebody getting hurt gabby don't care i'm pissed that gabby's doing this though i really am because philip took a chance on her like he gave her a lifeline at titan when nobody else wanted to deal with her you know and i thought that they were cool and for her to do this to him, that's 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 messed up. And what made her think Victor was going to hand her the CEO job? Just because he gave it to Chad before don't mean he's going to give it to you. In my opinion, Victor never really hated Chad, but he does hate Gabby. So why would he give you the position? Wouldn't make sense. Um, so anyway, IT basically called Philip and let him know what was going on with his computer. And he just, you know, busted in on Gabby and... uh jake before they could do the do and now he knows that she's been spying on him gabby a fool like this whole plan of hers like she really thought this was gonna work like that was just foolish thinking that was dumb um so anyway moving on from that all hell done broke loose at the karyakis mansion <laughs> i am so happy that this bonnie situation is coming to a close i really am I am super happy because I didn't see the point of them killing off Adrian. You know, Xander was hell bent on getting his money. Justin didn't want to hear nothing Xander had to say, of course. But Xander was like, nah, I ain't going nowhere till I get my money. So, of course, he wanted to go to Bonnie's room or whatever. And she trying to stop him because Callista's up there bleeding. Well, she up there dead, basically. Um, or damn near dead, bleeding to death or whatever. Um, she just left that woman for dead. And, um... Xander didn't care. Xander went up there, got his cash or whatever. And, you know, Bonnie making up all type of excuses, talking about, oh, she's just, Callista's just drunk. And mind you, everybody making a beeline for the Bonnie's room except Steve and Kayla. Steve and Kayla didn't even really care. They just downstairs, you know, just talking about each other and how good Kayla look and stuff. <laughs> Steve ain't care about nothing that was going on with them. He said, later for y'all. He said, I'm going to sit here and focus on my sweetness. I'm going to focus on my woman because she looking gorgeous. I said, Steve, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at Steve. I would have been doing the same thing. Because you know what? Steve already knew that this marriage was going to be, you know, stupid anyway. So he was like, you know what? I ain't even about to entertain this. I'm going to focus on you. That was smart. Um, so Bonnie's still sitting there trying to come up with all these daggone excuses and whatnot. And Xander was just happy to get his million dollars back because now he could get at the EJ or whatever the case and try to get his job at um, Basic Black, you know. So Justin's sitting there throwing a cover over Callista and he noticed the blood. I was like, yeah, geez, they done shot the girl. And I don't, you know, it's like Bonnie was stupid for that because that's what you chose. That's the best lie you can come up with. 
after you done shot her and left her up there, I would have stuffed her in a closet or something <laughs> until the wedding was over. <laughs> like, why are you just going to leave her there bleeding to death? And as soon as Justin saw that blood, um, yeah, he was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. And it's too late now to cover it up because Lonnie and Eli done showed up and they done locked Bonnie up. I said, this is so crazy. Like, that's the best she could do is just leave her in that bed to bleed like ain't nobody going to notice or figure it out. She was hoping nobody would see. I would have just stuffed the girl in the closet and locked the door or something. Like, I mean, I get it was short notice, but come on, Bonnie, do better. Um, Hopefully, they figure out a way to bring Adrian back. That's what I'm hoping for. But um, this was pretty much the whole episode. Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought, and I will see y'all all later. Peace.